So dudes, welcome back to the Gregor Gaming Experience. I'm gonna talk about how to play Thorn in Rainbow Six Siege. First, put a pinecone under a hatch or anything with a vault prompt and swing off of the intel. <laughs> Ash is great for an aggressive team composition with an ultimate that allows her to engage any opponents she wants. Or to peel and disengage out of fights you don't know. <laughs> okay, okay, I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry. The last Siege video? When was, when was the last Siege character video? Oh, three months ago. You based your whole channel around operator how-tos. How, how dare, dare you? you? How dare you do this? See, right now, he's constructing a straw man and misrepresenting someone else's argument for a comedic bit. Yeah, you're right. Come to think of it, nobody's ever constructed a hypothetical argument for the purpose of rhetoric before. It's clearly a mean-spirited attack on people who disagree with him. Yeah, boo! boo! This video doesn't represent the kind of video Greg would have made before he was legally able to purchase alcohol. You're right, nobody's ever changed their opinion throughout the course of their late teens and early 20s. I got a question. What's better? Don's primary gadget or a secondary gadget? That's right, it's a primary gadget. Because primaries are better than secondaries. What do you mean? One is as good as primary gadget. But primary is better than secondaries? I know, but shield is just as effective. What? That doesn't prove anything. Primary is better than secondaries? I know, but look, one of them is bulletproof, right? So it's just as powerful. Right, but look at the size that that's cheating. You right, need to use an explosive. Device to get you rid gotta of blow it. that he one up. He's impervious to firearm damage. Primary is better than secondary. Well, sometimes it's more complicated. What, what is it you don't get? I don't get it. Well, it's well, it's, it's not right. the world. You, you know, it's not big you deal. Your, your job's more blunt. That's Harry's job, right? Primary is better. I want to get behind Thorn. I got behind Thunderbird a little bit, even if she was just Jaeger Doc. But Thorn's ability is somewhat underwhelming and doesn't really offer anything other operators don't already do. Thorn's gadget is the Angry Pinecone. Let's see what happens to you. The Angry Pinecone will get really angry and wind up when bad guys get too close to it. Eventually detonating and dealing a good degree of damage to people near it. Canonically, the gadget fires little flechettes without a big explosion, so its damage profile doesn't work the same way as a frag grenade or a capkin trap. These are not instanades that you can throw at people. There is a wind-up period before the gadget will start working properly. When that wind-up is done, here's what the gadget does. If somebody gets too close to it, it goes... Boom! This thing is very easy to dodge. Simply running past it is gonna do the trick. Which is probably what that person wanted to do anyway, since the rank meta is basically monkey brain. Which means get them set sooner rather than later. You only get three of them, not like that was ever an issue for Ella. If you know how to play around Ella traps, you kind of get an idea for how to play around Thorn traps. In fact, both of these characters have pretty good guns with a deployable shield, so there's a lot of similarity to their playstyles. The reason I like Ella more is because she can stop the enemy from sprinting, which makes it easier for me to know where they are when I swing them. Thorn's gadgets are a bit more difficult to play off of for this reason, and probably shouldn't be used this way. Sometimes they make decent oh, default plant spot deterrence, <laughs> serving as a last line of defense when the attackers are making their final push. The problem, again, is that Legion can kind of already do this more efficiently because he can anchor and ultimately deny more area over time because he gets more than three of his traps. The way Thorn's gadget works, compared to her peers, puts her in an awkward position. Capkin can't hide his traps as well, but with five at his disposal, the likelihood of someone running into at least one of them is possible and running into them provides instant damage, whereas with Thorn, you have to basically play right on top of these things and play for a number of different outcomes. What if the guy sprints through and swings you? What if he turns around and shoots the thing? What if he just sprints to the other side of the room and holds your swing? I'm trying to make a point. There's too many what ifs for you to play off of this thing unless you're dealing with limited space, like in a small room or a staircase or something with barbed wire. The best spots I think for Thorn's gadgets are on bomb sites with narrow spaces to move where the most ideal way to enter is through a window vault. Think border ventilation. Putting these further outside of the map is kind of risky because if you put them on the wrong side of the map, there goes your plan. So I play with these devices somewhat actively, picking them up and throwing them where I'm confident the enemy is going to eventually push. It's not as efficient as playing Legion, but it's the closest I can get to it. Can she deny hatch drops? Sure. The aspect about Thorn's gadget that makes it stand out, like Ella Mines, is that she can hide it in nooks and crannies by throwing it. 
But again, since the wind-up time is so long, it's not uncommon for these things to get shot anyway. Fortunately for you, you have another gadget called a deployable shield. This mini mirror, in and of itself, in a competitive environment, probably provides a lot more than Thorn's gadgets. And I think a lot of people will probably just play Ella to get a similar, though not exact, effect. That's Visa side. On a free speed, with a gun that some people might like more. I'm not gonna get into this argument because I know a lot of people are already in the comments section as we speak, typing um actually, Ella gun go left and right, but Siege has a great mechanic that will never go away. A mechanic which for some reason Siege players simultaneously demand stays in the game and also not be taken into consideration when talking about weapon balance. Console players, I haven't forgotten about you. How could I? Like vegans, you always announce it before you start a conversation. Kudos to you for continuing to play through the fire and mouse and keyboard flames. I know that using Ella's gun sucks on controller, so maybe Thorn is a good alternative for you guys. And for PC players, that means you don't have an excuse. Because if Thorn's gun is easy to use on controller, it's a lightsaber on MNK. This thing's recoil is straighter than two dudes in a hot tub five feet apart because they're not gay. I'm pretty sure I don't need to actually put in pull down control. I've actually overcompensated and shot the chest instead of the head with Thorn's Uzi. It's got a fire rate of 700, so nothing too crazy. That's basically Nomad's ARX, but it has pretty decent damage output. So even if you don't hit the head, you can reliably outfrag people. It's a very, very easy to use gun. What's not so easy to use is the CZ-75 because siege operators like to hold it right in front of their nose. However, should you get into the habit of holding it down below head level and then pulling up kind of quickly when you acquire bad guys to get a solid spray, the CZ-75 actually has stats that are better than you think. DPS-wise, it's stupidly fast and can occasionally get you a free headshot. Just don't use it unless you're close up. You won't be able to see them. And conversely, able to shoot them. Toulon didn't read, Thorn, in my opinion, is another ranked operator. She's fun, and I like her guns, but other than that, I don't really see her having a lot of usefulness that Legion, Ella, or Capkin don't provide already. I will admit, though, sometimes putting her razor blooms on hatches can get you some pretty funny results. Lit blue, super lit on blue. 